use benchmarks and numbers to estimate. I can use benchmarks to estimate a sum or difference of fractions with unlike denominators. Spark your learning. Miss Kwong mixes water, glue, and laundry detergent together to make slime. The amount of each ingredient is a fraction of a liter. Use a visual model to estimate the total number of liters of ingredients she mixes together. Okay, so we would have our one whole bar, right? Okay, so one whole. Then we have three eighths. So if I were three eighths is close to what, guys? One half, right? Okay, so I'd go a little bit under a half and then draw three different sections, and those are all one eighth, right? Okay, then two fifths. Is that bigger or smaller than the one eighth? A one fifth is bigger than the one eighth, right? Okay, so is one tenth a little bit smaller? Okay. So we go a little bit under one half, right? So one tenth, right? <laughs> okay, so two fifths is also what of ten? Four, four tenths, right? Okay, so our pieces are going to be about twice as big as this one tenth, correct? Okay, so about this big, right? And then we have two of them, correct? Or one fifth, sorry. Okay, so it doesn't take quite one whole, correct? Okay. So, um, basically, um, our sizes probably should have been a little bit bigger, right? Okay. So, would it be closer to one half or would it be closer to one whole? One whole, right? So it's about one liter because our fractions put together. Are a little under one whole. Okay. Now the understanding. Miss Huang has some bottles of copper powder for science experiments. She uses seven eighths of the bottle, two thirds of a bottle, and five twelfths of a bottle. About how many bottles of copper powder does she use? So we have the seven eighths. Two thirds and the five twelfths. And then they want to know how many bottles of copper does she use. So what represents or expression represents the situation? So what would I do? Seven eighths plus two thirds plus five twelfths. Right? And then that's going to get us an a number unknown right now, right? So how can you use the three number lines in the benchmark zero, half, and one to help you estimate? So here's in the blue, the zero, half, and one, right? Okay, so seven, eight, I'm gonna put right here. So that's close to what, guys? One whole. One whole, okay, so the closest is to one, okay? Then we have two thirds, so it's right here. What's that closer to? One half or one? One half. One half, right? Okay. And then we have five twelfths. Is it closer to zero, half, or one? Half. Okay. So seven eighths is closer to one, comma, two thirds is closer to one half and by twelfth is closer to one half. Okay, so what expression represents the estimate? 
So we would do our boxes, right? So we would do one plus one half plus one half equals what? Two, because half and half is one, and then you add it to the other one, so you would get two. Okay, so in your um for Miss um Miss Fong uses about two bottles of copper powder. Stepping out, each group in science class has a two liter container of distilled water. Group A uses one and nine tenths liter, and group B uses one and three eighths liter. About how much more distilled water does group A use than group B? So group A was the one and nine tenths liter. Group B was the one and three eighths liter. About how much more distilled water do they use? Represent the situation with an expression. So we're going to do what? So we add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Subtract. So we're going to take one and nine ten minus one and three eight. Correct. Okay. So determine an estimate without finding an exact answer. So which between which two whole numbers does one and nine tenths lie? So what two whole numbers? Between um, one and two. One and two. Okay. Is the fractional part of the mixed number closest to zero, half, or one? So, um, one and nine tenths. So, what is half of ten? Five. Five. So, is it is nine tenths closer to zero tenths, five tenths, or ten tenths? Ten tenths. Ten tenths. Okay. So, one. And nine tenths is closer to one and ten tenths because it is only one tenth away. So, what whole number can you use to estimate one and nine tenths to? So what would we estimate one and nine tenths to? Two. Two. Use benchmark values to estimate one and three eighths. So one and three eighths. So what's half of eight? Four. So is three eighths closer to zero eight? Four eighths or eight eighths? Four eighths. Four eighths. So that would be one and a half, right? Okay. So write an equation to estimate the difference. So we would take Two minus one and a half and get half. So about how much more distilled water does group A use than group B? Half a liter. Half a liter. About. And yes, you would put about because it's an estimate. Thank you for reminding me. Let's understand number one. A weather station reports eleven twelfths foot of snow fell yesterday afternoon and one third foot fell yesterday evening. Estimate the amount of snow that fell yesterday. So, 11 twelfths, one third. Okay, estimate the amount of snow that fell yesterday. So, are we adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Adding. adding. Okay, what is half of 12? Six. So, is 11 twelfths closer to zero twelfths, six twelfths, or 12 twelfths? 12 twelfths, and 12 twelfths is also one whole. one whole, right? So one plus, okay, what's half of three? Uh, nothing. One and a half, right? Okay, so is one third closer to zero thirds, one and a half thirds, or um, three thirds? It's kind of in between the... Um, zero and the half, right? But so since so you have to spell, so we need to count it, right? Okay, so we'll go in half. Okay, so one plus one and a half is, or plus half is one and a half feet. Okay. Number two, so use benchmark values to write an expression to represent an estimate. Oh, what did I forget to pick here, guys? About, because it's an estimate. Okay, 
So number two, we have nine tenths plus one twelfth. So um, nine tenths. So what's half of ten? Five, right? So it's nine tenths closer to zero tenths, five tenths, or ten tenths. Ten tenths. And ten tenths is also one, right? So number two, I'm writing up here. So one plus, and then one twelfth. What's half of twelve? Six. So the zero twelve, six twelfths, or twelve twelfths? Zero. Zero twelfths. So zero. So about, about what, guys? About one. About one. Okay. Number three. Oh, we're subtracting this time. So five eighths. What's half of eight? Four. Four. So is five eighths closer to zero eighths, four eighths, or eight eighths? Four eighths, right? So half, okay, minus, then three fifths. What's half of five? Uh, two and a half. Right? Okay. So is three fifths closer to zero fifths, two and a half fifths, or five fifths? Two and a half. So half again, right? So equals zero. On your own, sisters in the 1800s, wagon trains traveled west along the Oregon Trail. A wagon train traveled from Missouri to Wyoming in one and two-third months, and from Wyoming to Utah in three-fourths months, three-fifths months. About how many months did it take the wagon train to travel from Missouri to Utah? So, here to here it was one and two-thirds months. Here to here it was three-fifths of a month, and they want to know about how many months did it take for them to travel. So, are we adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Adding. Okay. So, one and two thirds. What's half of three? Um, one and a half. Uh, one and a half, right? Okay. So, is um, two thirds closer to zero thirds? Um, one and a half thirds or three thirds? One and a half thirds. It would be one and a half, right? Okay. So one and a half, and then we said we're adding, right? Okay, and then three fifths, what's half of um, two and a half, right? Okay, so it is three fifths closer to zero fifths, um, two and a half fifths, or five fifths? Two and, a half. two and a half. So plus another half. Now, this one and two thirds could have also been what? Two. So we could take it either way, okay? But since we're doing an estimate, we're going to say about two months. Because one and a half plus half is two, right? Use benchmarks to estimate the sum or difference. Okay, so one and five twelfths, what's half of twelve? Six, six, right? So is five twelfths closer to zero twelfths or twelve or six twelfths or twelve twelfths? Six twelfths. So one and a half, right? So one and a half minus and then two thirds. So like we said up here, it can either be half or one. So which one do we use? Half. half. Okay. So minus half equals about one. One. So about one. Okay, seven tenths, what's half of ten? Five. five. So is seven tenths closer to zero tenths, five tenths, or ten tenths? Five tenths, right? So half plus what's half of eight? Four. So is seven eighths closer to zero eighths, four eighths, or eight eighths? Eight eighths, eight eighths, which eight eighths equals one. So that equals about one and a half. One and a half. Okay, use the number lines and benchmarks to estimate one and one third. So we would come over here and put a dot. What is that closest to? The one and a half, correct? Okay, and then five six. What is that closest to? One. So one and one third minus five six. Okay would be estimated to one and a half minus one. So one and a half minus one, which equals 